What's up everyone? Today we're going to go through a simple how to edit a video. Very simple like jump cuts, how to know what to cut out, where to cut stuff. I'm going to take the video that I released just earlier today about how long should your YouTube video be and I'm going to edit that with you guys and point out what I'm doing and this is very important in getting a YouTube video down to a good length. So let's go over to Final Cut Pro because I'm a pro. It's a little confusing because I'm wearing the same shirt, but me, me in the video, I've got the scarf. Me editing, I've got a unicorn horn. So that's the difference there. So this is uh, the raw footage from earlier. Welcome back to class, everybody. So there's a there's the por point at the beginning where I'm just like looking around, doing my head bop doing my hair toss, check my nails. So we're just gonna cut that to right before. Welcome back to class, everybody. There we go. So you wanna just jump right into things. You wanna start talking more or less as soon as the video starts. You see this blue thing down here, that's the audio, if you didn't know. That's the waveform. Well, that's not exactly a waveform, but you get what I'm trying to say. That's that's the audio. So you can see where you stop talking, where there are breaks. Some people get annoyed, They're, especially I got this a lot when I first started making videos. People are like, I don't like all the jump cuts. And it's like, well, I think you'd like it less if there weren't jump cuts cutting out the huge pauses that I leave that you could drive a dump truck through. So let's just go through and listen to some of these pauses and see if I can cut stuff there. So it was about how long should your YouTube videos be? five minutes, 10 minutes. These are judgment calls because I could cut that or I could leave it e. as a dramatic pause. Five minutes. You can always just see what does it look like. So what I'm doing is I'm going in and I'm cutting it. I'm being a little sloppy with these videos, but you don't want to cut it too close, but I'm just cutting it naturally after the word ends. Then I'm coming and I'm cutting it right before the next word begins and I'm using keyboard shortcuts the Apple button plus B makes a cut and then the alt button plus left bracket the open bracket makes a cut and cuts everything before it to the last cut let's see what that looks like YouTube videos be five minutes ten minutes twenty minutes it's a judgment call is that better than having a pause I don't know but uh... <laughs> We'll keep it. We'll go with it. Videos B. Five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Let me start off first of all with something like a Zen koan. Now, don't, I wouldn't cut right there. Like you could, you could if you wanted to. Generally, don't cut in the middle of a phrase or a sentence. Try to cut between phrases where naturally the grammar of the sentence would allow for some kind of separation, whether it, you, you know, the different parts of speech right there. So before, how long should it, how long should your video be? Five minutes, 10 minutes, it's like two different phrases. But here, let me start off first of all with something like a Zen koan. There's, the, that's one phrase. I can't cut it without it looking really weird. I, l let me just show you what that looks, it's only cutting out about, I don't know, like half second. Let me start off first of all with something. I mean, it's not egregious, but I don't like it, so I just leave in the pause, you see? So here's another big pause, let's take a look at that one. And as short as it can be. What? It should be what? <laughs> Make myself laugh. Uh, let's just keep. What? It should be what? It depends on a multitude of... Okay, so that's a, a huge pause that you can just cut out right there. Usually what I do is I leave more room at the end of the last one, of the last sound I made, and then cut it right before. So it's a much closer cut on the, the one you're going into. It should be what? It depends on a multitude of factors. Because if you, if you leave these as kind of longer, it doesn't look as good. So I'm going to, let's make this a, a less tight cut and see what it looks like. It should be what? It depends on a multi- I don't like, I don't like seeing a cut and then it a depends pause. On a so that's why I just go. 
It should be what? It depends on a multi. Uh, you could even leave that longer. It should be what? It depends. No, you can't. Uh, never mind. Uh, now this this pause here. As it can be. What? It should be what? I could cut it. Where the it's not just voice. It's not just the words. It's also the facial expressions. So you see, I make a I make a face. Could you cut it from here to, it should be what? And as short as it can be. It should be what? No, I don't like that. So we're just, it, it's a pause, but we're just gonna keep it in there to, uh, you, you don't have what? to cut every pause there. It is. should be what? Factors. First of all, what? So there's one where I could make another cut, two phrases, unnecessary pause in the middle. On a multitude of factors. First of all, what kind of video are you making? And some videos need to be shorter than others. If Here's uh, an edit that I bring up in this video that I'm editing. You see I say, and, and you can cut that. We'll go from straight, this, this video that I'm making right now is gonna be a pain to edit. What if I just kept making videos, showing how to edit videos, showing how to edit videos, and I did it like 10 times removed? Whoa. So let's see what it looks like cutting out the and. When you're speaking, you think you need to say it, but you don't need to. First of all, what kind of video are you making? Some videos need to be shorter than others. See, you don't need the word and there. So just so if you have these these pauses, things that would otherwise be pauses that you're filling up with a word like and now so then you can cut those out. I wouldn't do it if it was right before if it was like and you need to blah, blah, blah. Sometimes you can. Sometimes you can make those really, really precise edits and get in there, but... Going a bit more in depth into the reasons why things happen. Here's one that's not on a phrase. Like, I just had to breathe. You know, sometimes when you breathe... A bit more in depth into... <sighs> Let me try cutting that and see what it looks like. Sometimes you can get away with these, and I do it a lot if I breathe in a weird place, but... That's going a bit more in depth into the reasons why I think... Ah, I don't love that. Sometimes you need to take the... You need to loosen up the edit a little bit if it seems too weird. Going a bit more in depth into the reasons why... That's better, see? That's it's going it's a subtle. Bit like, the difference between... It's going a bit more in depth into the reasons why... See, that... Uh, we're gonna redo to make that cut more longer. in depth into the reasons why it just looks more natural the thing is when you're doing these jump cuts all of a sudden your body moves to a different place which works better if it's like a, there are certain jumps that work better than others sometimes if you are like me and you don't move a lot You'll make a jump cut and you'll, you will be in the exact same space and no one will know. Other times, like with, with this one. Depth into the reason. I kind of like just move a little bit and it just looks weird. And you either want to move not at all or enough that the jump cut looks like it's necessary. If you move more in a jump cut, it looks better. People don't like the jump cuts because they're not good editing if you were making a movie, but we're making a YouTube video. Going a bit more in depth into the reason. Now that one actually didn't move that much, but it just, it just looks natural. I can't explain it, but <laughs> you gotta feel it out. You gotta trust me. And you know, the effects that events have had that might be longer, maybe 30. Yeah, that's another one you can cut. Now the thing is you might be saying, that pause isn't so bad, why not leave it in? The thing is, if you have 20 of these pauses and each of them are a half second long, that's 10 seconds you can cut out of your video, which might not seem like much, but it adds up. And it probably is more than 20 minutes or 20, there's probably more than 20 cuts you can make. You don't want to make it so chopped up. Like, look at the, the size of these. Like this clip is five seconds, this clip is 16 seconds, this clip is two, two, 19. You don't want to get so choppy that you have a cut like every second. You don't want to have cuts around words. Sometimes you have to do it. Sometimes you just totally screwed up your delivery. And there's a thing where you're like, you, you say, 
a word and then you have to cut around it. Like if I were to just cut out the pauses around the phrase a word, is that a phrase or is that just, I, I don't even know, but I, that just looks too sloppy. If I'm gonna, if I have like one word or like two words that are in the middle of a pause island thing, if it's a word island in the middle of two huge pauses, I'll cut one pause and leave the other sometimes. Sometimes I'll cut both and I'll just be like, well, this is garbage, whatever. I am terrible at my job. But you want to avoid that as much as you can. And what I do is when I'm talking in a video and I realize that my speech has slowed down so much that I left a word dangling out there, I'll just go back and I'll say the sentence again so that I don't have to edit it. Because the choppier it is, the, the more it looks like you don't know how to speak to a camera, you know? Some amount of editing is good and expect it. But if it gets to be too much, it just looks like you don't know what you're doing. I'm not going to go into depth about how to identify whole phrases you can cut out. But as you're editing, I would just go through the first pass of editing where you're cutting out egregious pauses and stuff like that. And then once you go through, the pause cutting will have naturally divided up your video clips into phrases and ideas theoretically so that when you watch it again you can sort of see where I was on one thought where I was on another thought and then you can go back and say this whole this whole clip is unnecessary and cut it you know because you're you're trying to whittle things down you're trying to get into a tight funnel so that your your video is moving along at a good pace. Sometimes you can't just cut around pauses. You have to like cut into, let me see if I can do that now. Cutting into a, a thing. And I'm looking at the timestamps and one is 30 seconds. Let's just say I wanted to cut out. I was looking, and I'm at, looking at the timestamps and one is, let me just say I want to cut at and one is blah, blah, blah. So I can tell just by looking at the, the sound down here and listening to it that the word and starts with this bump. Now your voice, tends to peak around words and stamps and one is thir so I'm just gonna go ahead right here where I think and is and I'm gonna cut it and I see a few videos and one is 30 seconds all right so I was close but you see how I get the the end of the last word was like and and that's not very good so I'm gonna zoom in a bit and one is so let me just try cutting further in and one is 30 that cut out the a of and so now let me cut a little less see a few videos and one is 30 perfect sometimes you will when you cut into something whether it's the end or the beginning of you speaking you'll hear a little click that's because a audio wave is a wave going up and down right and so when you're cutting it you're cutting it abruptly at a certain point in the wave and then it's going down somewhere else at the beginning of the next clip whether that's silence or whether that's you talking somewhere else and that creates in a digital uh, audio situation that creates a little click it sounds bad it doesn't always you don't always hear it but I've heard some, here's a, here's a popular YouTuber where I hear it a lot, or at least I did a couple years ago in his videos, maybe he's figured it out, but Alpha M, he's got a great channel where he gives out advice to guys on like how to groom, you know, how to dress, how to ask a girl out. But he is, it's egregious the amount of clicks he has at the end of his edits because he doesn't, he, at least when I was watching his videos a couple years ago, he didn't know how to edit. This is a big YouTuber with millions of subscribers. Here's the trick. If you get a click at the beginning or end of a clip, to avoid that, all you do is you come to the beginning or your end of the clip, wherever the click is, and you fade the audio in or out using this little fader. It's in iMovie as well. It's probably in Movie Maker on Windows. And you can zoom in really far and just do the tiniest, tiniest fade. And it will take care of the click. It'll get rid of it. And the audience won't be able to hear that it's a fade. It'll still sound like a hard stop or a hard start. You'll hear it now. If you listen, if you watch a lot of YouTube videos, especially ones with music, 
or sound effects, you will hear a lot of clicking because people don't know what they're doing with the audio. Can you tell that I'm passionate about good audio? Please just get good audio. That's all I'm axing. Thank you. Uh, that's about it. <laughs> that's about it for uh, College of Tuber Studies. Good luck to me to edit this video. It's going to be a joy and a wonder. Tune in next time where I show you how to edit a video about editing videos. And then the time after that where I show you how to edit videos about editing videos about editing videos. And so on and so forth. It's... Yeah. Thanks for watching. Thank you.